Hello and welcome to all the viewers. In the present video, we will discuss about a component creations as well as we will discuss about what is active component, how to see the current component and at the last we will going to discuss about how to move respective bodies from one component to another components. As you know that before doing any meshing, we need to create a component then we need to assign a properties as well as material. So likewise step by step we will going to cover this complete HM tutorial. So in present video we will discuss about the component creations. Then let's start the video. So in order to create a component you can do by two ways. You just right click on a side panel and you just need to create. Right click and need to click on the create then you will find the components window. Once you will define your respective name then you will find that component is created. Okay and the another way is that if you go to this bottom panel you will find here the second one is a component. So once you will click on that you can define here a respective name as well as you can define the color code and then you can create a component. So like that there are two ways to create uh, any component. So if you see this schematic the graphic window shows that the geometry for the three different brackets. The first bracket is nothing but your U bracket. The second bracket is side bracket and the third one is end bracket. So what we can do now we can create a three different components and we will going to move that respective bodies in that their respective component name. So let's start right click over in a side panel create and here you can define the first one is U bracket and here you can even create same as the existing component or you can define the different color code over here. In addition to that you can also assign the respective properties if you have created as well as material. So we will discuss this later on. Okay. Now let's create a first component that is U bracket. Similarly let's create the another component here side bracket and here we can define the another color code. Okay. So similarly also here you can if you have any card images properties you can define from this respect to bodies uh, from respective options. In addition to that here you can even update the respective properties as well as you can assign the various properties to the respective components. Let's create. We have created a second component. Similarly we can create the third one that is end bracket. Okay. So that is what the bracket creations and let's assign the different color code. Okay. So what we did now we have created the components for the respective names as per the respective names of the brackets. So the next thing is that which is one is the active component. So in order to see that here if you see this bold color you will find this end bracket is nothing but your active component. Suppose if you do meshing right now then you will find that what are the operations we will going to do that will going to move inside this respective component. So that you need to understand where you are working you should focus on the respective active components. So like that you can even see here that is the end bracket at the bottom. Now suppose if you want to change that active component the U bracket then you can change like this from this. So right now our active component is nothing but the U component. Okay. Similarly, you can see here the bold color is automatically changed. So from the bold color naming itself, you can identify which component is my active component. Okay. Now the next step is to move the respective bodies and their respective component. As we know that the first body is nothing but the U bracket. So in order to move that, you just need to press Shift plus F1, F11, Shift plus F11 button from your keyboard and then you will find that the collector organized entity panel will going to be activated. So here you will find that the first one collector option. So here you can move that 
either elements, lines, surfaces, loads. Then in addition to that, even you can move the system vectors, equation points from one to another. Similarly, add, you can move the ellipsoid connectors or beam sections, whatever the sections you have, you can uh, move that. So at present, we have a solid body. So I will go to select the solid body. I will select this. And here you can define your respective destination component. And here, as we know that our first bracket is the U bracket. So now let's move that. Okay. So in addition to that, if you want to reject, you can have an option of reject also. So in always remember that you have a control D only once. That is nothing but your reject one. Okay. And even you can do also copy also and then you can even transfer to another component. So like that you can also do the copy paste with the help of this option. So let's move down. Similarly, let's select the another component solid one and then let's select here side bracket move. Similarly, if you have any surfaces or anything else like you want to move, you can even do that with the help of Let's try with the surface movement. Let's see if we can move the surface to the end bracket. Move. Okay. Right now the surface is moved, but we are not able to see that because this is nothing but the solid entity. But suppose if you delete this solid, let's go to solid, solid, select this, delete entity, reject, we will keep the surfaces delete entity now you can find that this respective surface is automatically move in that respective components okay so let's return now let's select all the surfaces select this surface and then by attach because all this is nothing but your single body and then select your destination component that is end bracket and then move now you can find that our respective brackets here this is nothing but our u bracket this is nothing but our side bracket and this is nothing but our end bracket okay so likewise you can create a component you can check which one is active which one is current and then you can move that your respective bodies you know your respective component as per the their respective algorithm or you can say the name okay so always keep in mind while we created a component, suppose if you want to update right now, let's go here, select this body, select this component. Now if you want to change any updations, like if you want to change the color code or anything else, so you can do that from here, update. Okay, so like that you can see here and even you have option of update edit also, right? Now here the card image is nothing but the properties which we will going to discuss later on and here uh, card is it is also the important parameter where we can define the post processing options and property as you know that we will going to discuss this in next video that is also an important term that is real constants which we will need okay so I think we can wind up for the present video and later on we we'll discuss the remaining session so in present video we only need to focus on how to create a component because it is really important. Okay, so thank you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.